All right, so I'm gonna be making a ghost computer 2.0. And what I mean by that is that I learned a lot over the last couple months. And uh, what I'm gonna be doing now is showing you some work I've done on this laptop here. Uh, previously, I set this up as a security laptop, but I'm making this even more private now. Uh, I'm gonna explain the reason why I have these holes in this device in a moment. Now, thanks to the comments section, and thanks to you guys supporting me and helping me on my channel. Uh, I looked at a lot of the comments. I did some research on my own. I'm gonna show you some more steps you can take to help better protect yourself. Before we start this video, I already took out the microphone and camera in the previous build video. I'm going to be building off of that one. So again, this is already gone. I already ripped it out completely. So let's jump into this video. So one thing you can do is remove the hard drive. Um, I'm leaving it in here for now, just for demonstration purposes. But if I was making a complete ghost build, I would take that hard drive out and only work off of RAM sticks. What, you, what I did here was I ended up bending back of that USB port that you just saw. And I'm going to be moving the Wi-Fi card here. That's going to be going. I want to do something that I can control, and I'm going to show you what I mean in a moment. Now, when it comes to the Wi-Fi card, sometimes these devices can help identify devices. So certain manufacturers use a certain type of Wi-Fi card. So if somebody was to uh, look into this Wi-Fi card and see what it is, they'll realize that somebody's using this type of laptop. So if I use an external Wi-Fi adapter, um, this will kind of mask the device I'm using. So I'm just going to get rid of it and replace it with an external one. And um, I'm actually going to put the external one inside the device so it's kind of hidden. And I'll show you uh, what that looks like in a moment. So here's the card. We're going to just get rid of this. Bye. So the next thing we're going to get rid of is the speaker. So I learned a lot, and thanks to you guys, and I looked into it also, that these things could be used as a microphone. So if you remove the microphone like I did previously in this build, it might not be the most secure. I mean, with the right software, you can turn these speakers into actual microphones. And if I'm really desperate for some kind of audio output, I can just plug in my headphones. That's probably the most secure way to do it. And the way I look at everything is that if I can remove the hardware and have full control over the hardware, and the cutting power and just getting rid of it in general is the more safer option than trusting software so this is an alpha adapter that i had uh, that i use for a lot of my projects and i put a little bit of electrical tape here because i didn't want the, the metal contacts to touch anything inside this case here and the reason why i'm doing this is because i want full control of this so i'm putting this inside so it's going to kind of look a little less suspicious even though this antenna is sticking out of the laptop but it's kind of close to my chest so it's hard to see but this also gives me full control um to the point where i can unplug this so there's no network content connectivity or anything broadcasting anything i have full control of it. i don't have to worry about software manipulation or anything i can literally unplug it and there's no way it can work because there's no power going to it so that's why i made it this way and why i put the holes there and why i have the hole in the center is that i can unplug um this device now maybe i should have got a switch but for this demonstration i'm trying to do a cheap build here i'm just trying to experiment this is just an experiment if i was to do this correctly i would have probably in installed some type of switch uh a kill switch where i know it cuts the power off of the device so that's the reason why you see the three holes here, two for the antenna and one for the USB that I bent on the inside. So it looks a little less suspicious here. So let me go ahead and try to put this together. So here I am demonstrating the hardware controls. So you see right here, I have access to unplug the power to the uh, adapter here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it to show you just enough room to unplug it. So then I can put it, I can use the laptop and know that there's no network connectivity or anything going on at all. Um, and when I wanted to use it again, I could just plug it back in. This is what it looks like in the front. So it sticks up just a little bit without the antennas, so not too suspicious. So that's what it looks like when I put the antennas on. I honestly, I think it looks really cool. Um, definitely, again, not a fun experiment. And this is what it looks like. So it's less suspicious. And when you're near a laptop, it's kind of close to your chest. So it's not like on the outside where it looks super crazy. So to me, I think it's a stealthier way to have the antennas. But to do these types of Wi-Fi testing and be able to really use the hardware, I have to use like Kali Linux. So I ended up taking Pirate Security off because it just didn't play nice with the adapters. So I went back to Kali. So I think Kali is just a better overall operating system when it comes to the cybersecurity testing and pen testing stuff. So I recommend Kali. It just works better with adapters and everything. So that's why I used it. So here I am using Arageddon. So I'm going to show you that the computer, it's working with the adapter I installed in it. I completely removed the one that came with the device. The only one that's available is the alpha uh, card there. So if you look, there it is. That's the alpha card. And I'm going to do a quick test so to show you that it is working and able to scan and monitor. And uh, here it is scanning networks around me. So everything is working the way I need it to work. So this is more of like a pen testing build. Um, you can also add layers like who am I? I got videos about how to install this on my channel. I'm going to go ahead and install it on this new machine here. Okay, let's go ahead and run 
who am I? So you can see all the things you can do here, IP changer, MAC address changer. I got videos on how to do this stuff already on my channel and actually experimenting with it. So go ahead and go check those videos out. So now my favorite way of doing this is using something like Tails Linux. So this pen is a flash drive and I can plug this into the computer and boot Tails uh, off of it. I have builds about that on my channel, but nevertheless, you can see me boot into Tails in a moment. This is a private based operating system. It's my favorite operating system. It's built for privacy. Um, it runs off of a flash drive and off of your RAM. Also, this operating system helps you prevent against cold boot attacks, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Now, just hit Start Tails. This will allow you to use it and take advantage of the Amnesia um, feature here. So Amnesia basically is, it, after you're done with this, doing whatever you did, it completely erases it. It doesn't have any existence at all. There's nothing saved on this device. Every time you use it again, it wipes itself. It just continually it goes through that loop. So one thing I need to teach you guys on how to really take advantage of anti-cold boot features is that you need to shut down the device properly if you just yank the flash drive out it doesn't write over the ram so right now i'm pulling it out it does shut the operating system down but it doesn't shut it down the right way um this is uh, this leaves you vulnerable for those cold boot uh, attacks where they can pull the information off the ram if you do it the right way where you fully shut it down it writes over the ram so basically it's like you having like a vcr tape and you, you, you record something over it, it's just like that. So you, you won't see anything original on the device or on the uh, RAM. It'll just be written over with a whole bunch of ones or zeros. So that's how it prevents you from cold boot attacks. Just make sure you shut down tails properly so you can take advantage of that feature. Now, everything we've done here, it does help when it comes to privacy. Now, it was a little extreme maybe, um, but at the same time, it depends on what you're doing now here we're just doing a privacy experiments so we're trying to do the most extreme versions of this as possible but remember safety is an illusion so there's always a way to do something if you want it bad enough if there's always a way to get the information and data off of devices so this helps prevent certain things but there's always ways around it so don't think that you're completely safe Thank you to everybody that commented on the last Ghost Build video. They gave me all these suggestions. I've learned a lot thanks to you guys, and I appreciate the constructive criticisms on this channel. Like I said, I'm learning, and I'm sharing my journey with you guys. So thank you so much, and uh, definitely go check out those other YouTube videos, of Who Am I Install. There's a, actually a video where I show you how to change your IP address every second, and uh, there's a lot of cool tools that you can add on top of these Ghost Builds to make it even more beneficial for you. And as always, don't do anything illegal. This is only for cybersecurity and computer experiments only. I'm just doing this for fun and learn. it's a good learning hands-on experience for me to help understand hardware and how it affects your privacy. Now the laptops that come with the toggle switches to turn off certain hardware parts on the computer that help keep you safe um, are very expensive, but this is a very inexpensive way to do something like that. And again, it's a good learning experience. So one day, maybe I'll get one of those laptops in this office if we could afford it at some point. But again, I try to make this stuff as free as possible for you guys because I really believe in sharing knowledge and just learning with you guys and sharing the experience along the way. So thank you all for all your support. And remember, safety is an illusion. I'll see you guys in the next video.